essential setups and make sure my preferences are really ready to go. Now, I'm going to pull up preferences here and you'll see preferences right here in the window. And here in preferences, we'll go to display first. There are a lot of different preferences you can set up for your Pro Tools session. And it's important for you sometimes to understand most of them. But the most important one for me right now is to get us started with the session. Is to make sure, for example, here we have our tool tips. You want to make sure you put a mouse over something. It'll tell you what that particular parameter does or what that button or that fader does. It's good to know. It's important to know. Also, we've got our peak hole for three seconds. I prefer to have all the time. And here for warnings and dialogue. It's important for me to have that quick start dialog box that opens up when you first launch Pro Tools. That way I can say, hey look, I'm gonna use this song, or I'll make a new song, or I can go to right to here, you know. Makes it much easier for you. Next, I'm gonna go over the operation. Now here's the operation right here. The most important function here for me that I wanna make sure this parameter is set in my preferences is the auto backup. So, we want to enable session file auto backup. This means that every five minutes here it says it's going to back it up. It'll keep 10 of them in a folder. That way you make a mistake. Oh, what did I do? I forgot. Well, look, it's in the backup folder. Pull it back out and we can use it. But I prefer to keep it close to two, two minutes, which is better for me. I like two minutes. So once you set that up, I'll go to my next parameter, which is the edit. Now here in edit, I want to make sure that these levels of undos are set up here. As you can see here, these are 32 undos. They gotta be aware of this also. This takes up more RAM. The more undos I have, the more RAM has to be set up to store. It's gotta store this stuff in the RAM, which sort of messes with our power. But, so I'm only gonna be doing, as you can see right here, I'm only gonna be using like every two minutes, it's gonna be 10 backups. I doubt I can get 32 edits in within two minutes. So I prefer to keep it down to, I'll say, well, look, you know, I'm not going to use that much. I'm going to go around to maybe 25, and I'll keep it there for now, just for me. And if I need to use more, I can always go back to preferences and set it up. This is just so I can optimize my Pro Tools session and system when I'm ready to get started. I know what's going to happen. I know what my processing power is going to be. I know what my display will be in my operation. And here you have processing as well. It's good to know what these preferences can do to help you out. But for right now, those are my essential setups for starting my first session.